Hey guys, Brady from ROG Ally Pro here, and today I'm going to show you how you can pair your DualSense controller to your ROG Ally. And this works with this base DualSense controller, or it works with the DualSense Edge as well. I just don't have a DualSense Edge right now, so I can't show you, but it's the same thing on both. So first thing you're going to want to do is on your ROG Ally, you're going to want to open your settings. And then from here, you want to go to Bluetooth and devices. And then just stay on this screen and have Bluetooth enabled. And now you want to take your DualSense controller and hold down the start button right there. The little PlayStation logo as well as the share button at the same time. So we're going to press them down at the same time. Three, two, one. And then you can see that blue flashing light. That means it's in pairing mode. So now we can go back to the ROG Ally and just click add device, Bluetooth, and then right there, DualSense wireless controller. You just click that and then boom, your device is ready to go and it'll go to a stable blue light instead of flashing so you know that it's connected. And then you can just click done. Now you can go into whatever game you want to and play. I'll do this with Fallout. So let me load up Fallout real quick. All right, and before you go into your game, you wanna come up to Steam settings and enable the controller. So you just come up to Steam, go to settings, and then you scroll down to controller. And then right here, since I got two controllers, you'll see I got this Xbox controller, this one. This is the first one, and then we got the DualSense wireless controller. So just click on that. Make sure everything's good in here. You can just test it too, just to make sure. So let's see. Make sure it all works. Looks good. Let's get out of that. And then you can close that tab, and in the game settings, you'll be like this. You want to scroll down till you see controller, and then click view controller settings. And you'll probably pop up on a page that looks like this. You want to go ahead and enable Steam input so you can actually use the controller in the game. Otherwise, you can't use it. So you just go ahead and enable Steam input. And there you go. You can change the layout there if you want to, but you just click back. You should be all good now to load up the game. So I'll see you guys in Fallout New Vegas. All right, we are in Fallout New Vegas now, and as you can see, I'm moving around and stuff with the controller, jumping with the controller. So that is how you guys use a DualSense controller on your ROG Ally. And if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos like this. And check out our website at rogally.pro where we post news, guides, game settings, tips and tricks, all that for the ACES ROG Ally. And that should be all. Have a good rest of your day.